We got there in the end. We've actually made some progress. We're gonna to have to spend an extra day on this job, but these things happen. <laughs> the skip has really cost us time. So, tomorrow, we're going at that and at that. Getting those two lintels in, getting that steel in. <sighs> day three. So, the plan for today is actually make some progress. So, as you know from yesterday, we got the skip and we've just had a big clean out of here today. Uh, yesterday, sorry. So, today, uh, first thing Dad's gonna do is he's gonna finish off that. He's gonna do the brickwork on the other side, which, very nice, first time seeing this properly. So he's gonna do the brickwork on the other side and we've cleaned off some of the extension brick to use back there so it's a better match. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna finish getting this side out, get all them bricks taken out, get that crappy, crappy insulation thrown away. And we're gonna get this steel in. And I think, I think we're doing that first and then we're gonna do that. Cause then that way, all the rubbish can get taken out from this side and the acros won't be in the way with that steel being up. So that's the plan. So plan in general, get these steels in, maybe try and get that door at least cut out and put in. Fingers crossed, hopefully. But we are ready to go. We have our bruise. My water's in the uh, other side, but big thank you to the customer, always keeping us there uh, hydrated. And once Dad's finished having a little gab about brick prices, <laughs> we will uh, get cracking. You ready? Yes. Rocking your new uh, M Store gloves. Yeah. Thank you very much, M Store. Skytech press these ones. These are very, very thin and very small. A lot better than the last ones, which are a bit baggy. These ones are nice and skin tight. Yeah, let's see how they, how they, how they were on the blocks. Can I make a copy? I think so, yes. Count to M Store. Thank you again. So, uh, who, who's taking the camera? Um, I'll take the camera because it's just knocking the wall down, isn't it? Yeah, you, you know the song and dance with that, so send you over to Dad.
after lunch, quarter welcome, to one. Welcome back. Alex has got this side down. So this is all open, that's ready for the steel going in. He's just started on the door. We're not propping this because it's got render above it. And it's, that's all it's holding up there, so it's not yeah. an awful lot of weight on it. No, and we'll see how we're going with that. So he's dropping that. We're going to move the seals back up. Um, I'm in here with him now. I'm just going to, I've just finished doing the brickwork on here. There we go. We uh, salvaged some of the bricks out of that wall there because it was um, it wasn't dot and dabbed. It was it was lined with battens, so the bricks were clean underneath. So we've cleaned these ones up to get a good match. So um, once Robbie's done the uh, the patch in there, it looked great. So that's all finished. We've got a bit of tidying up to do. Not a bad job with the uh, the mortar colour. It's a light brown that, but I've put a bit of black with it, just darken it down a bit. So we um, tidy this up and head up in there. So um, let's go make a mess. Well, this is a strange find. There was a cab tray up here, which I've yanked out, and then a few courses more down, we've got a little sheet of steel. So I wonder if this is uh, for meter boxes or something, but very strange. Might have to get the grinder on that because it's uh, must be in a few more courses, so a few more brick even. But it's uh, a, a weird fact. I didn't think I'd find something like that in the wall, to be honest with you. And then there's one of these too, like one goes up there. But yeah, so there's a little uh, strange update for you. I'll uh, throw you back up on time lapse.
That's two uh, out of four holes made. That one put up a bit of a fight, but uh, once I got to around here, it was just popping off course at a time then, so that was nice and satisfying. And again, as I'm showing you the weird cavity tray and uh, lintel for the um, meat, meter boxes and whatever. But, so now, is it steel time now? Yup. So, go. Yeah, so now, we're going to try and get the steel in like once dead, so once we've got this bloody network of cables sorted out. But, next step is the steel, so let's actually do this, keep, keep this momentum going. Well, it's up. <laughs> I can tell you that much, it is up. That was a bit of a scary one, that. Because uh, obviously we've not had much. That's been our support systems. But as you'll have seen in time, that's a bit of fiddling around and a bit of knocking. And we've got it in. And it's in plumb as well. We've managed to get it, we've plumbed it up before we got it stuck to the top, so. The main thing is it took our time. Yeah. Like, it, it's only just going to turn 3 o'clock, so we're doing alright for time for this steel at least, so. And it's held up with two acros, so it's nice and secure. So Dad's going to get all this sorted now, get the pad stones in, what have you. I'll just uh, start throwing some more crap away. So I'll, uh, I'll, push it, I'll keep you on Dad then while I sort that out.
Good afternoon. Steve Rex, old golden oldies are on, so it's getting on for our thing. We are leaving here at four today, whatever happens, because I think it's six o'clock last two nights we've left. Um, anyone who's seen on Instagram will see the rain yesterday, that was a proper bouncing down. So we'll give you a quick turn around. Yeah, it still looks like a bomb's hit it, but we're going to have a tidy up. We're actually going to come back tomorrow. We're, we're going to come back Monday with Robbie and Robbie, get the front done. But there's still so much left to do. Hardstones are in now. All, all nice and tight. Lin the acros are staying in tonight. These ones are coming out because the steel's holding the joist up now. So it's all nicely in position. All be solid tomorrow. So, like I say, I'm taking these out. Having a good brush out so it's tidy in here. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect because all this is all this is being thrown in this way so we can get out the door so we're not going through the hall and the, into the hallway and past the, the uh, fancy front door so um th yeah that's that's where we're at so far um we're gonna have to spend an extra day on this job but these things happen <laughs> the skip has really cost us time um plus it's always harder than you expect so um yeah um I'll stick you back on time lapse while we get this bit tidied up. Alex is next door in the other room, getting all that plasterboard and stuff out of there, so we're getting that spotless ready for propping. So, um, yeah, see you in a bit. There we have it. It's tidied up a bit and Daz took the outcrews down while I was away, so here we go, that's one steel in and I'll take you around here real quick. I've uh, got the majority of all that swept up and put away, so tomorrow we're going at that and at that. Getting those two lintels in, getting that steel in, because Robbie came back on Monday to fit that window for the garage conversion. So, we're coming back tomorrow to get them finished. So, that way on Monday we just come in, get that brickwork and blockwork up, done. So, we got there in the end. We've actually made some progress. So, we'll, uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.